Carolyn Herforth with BizTruth.com. As an entrepreneur, you know it's not a cakewalk to run a successful business all the time. There are a lot of moving parts. And because I talk to dozens of entrepreneurs every week, I hear my fair share of stories about their growing pains. Heck, I have them myself. And here's the deal. Since I have talked to and dealt with thousands of entrepreneurs during my past 10 years in business, I have developed an uncanny knack for being able to predict who will still be in business a year or two from now and who won't. And I'm not talking about just limping along in her business two years from now, but actually thriving and enjoying and having fun and being financially free in her business. You wanna know my secret? Duh, of course you do. <laughs> the ones who say yes to themselves by taking drastic action and investing in themselves and their business, they're the ones who will still be around. The ones who fail and go out of business are the ones who say those two words that are business killers. And they're not just business killers, they're spirit killers, they're confidence killers, they're prosperity killers. Those two words are, I know you're waiting for a drum roll, but I don't have drums. Yeah, but, mm -hmm. yeah, my books are a mess, but I can't afford to hire a bookkeeper. Yeah, I want to reach a younger audience, but I don't think social media is the way to go. I mean, they're not on Facebook. Yeah, I know I need help figuring out how to reach and close more clients, but I'm trying to get by with all the free stuff out there. Yeah, I know I need to hire a coach, but I'll try to figure it out myself, even if it takes me longer. I mean, gosh. You might guess I have a crystal ball. I don't. It's that easy. It's yeah, but. I seriously, whenever I hear an entrepreneur say, yeah, but, after complaining about a problem and finding a solution or solutions, I know they're doomed if I hear them say, yeah, but. And the reason they're doomed is not why you think. They're not doomed because they don't believe the solution won't help. They're doomed because they're not open-minded. Even more importantly, they don't believe in themselves. They find a solution that, the, that they actually believe will help them, yet they don't have enough faith or confidence in themselves to invest in that solution and take action. They're looking for reasons not to do something because then they don't have to capitalize on their investment, they don't have to take responsibility for, for, for executing, they don't have to take responsibility in case it doesn't work. They, it's, it's a fear avoid, it's a way for them to avoid the fear of taking responsibility and trusting in themselves. And this is true for your prospects and it's true for you entrepreneur. So the next time you hear your prospects or yourself say, yeah, but, remember that those two words are business killers. So if this is a problem for you when you're dealing with your prospects, I want you to do me a favor. Please email me privately, personally, carolyn at thebiztruth.com. And it's, I'll put it on the screen, make sure it's on the screen here. carolyn at thebiztruth.com. Put yeah, but in the subject line so I know what the topic is. And I want you to describe to me what the common yeah buts are that you hear from your clients and then I'll t compile all of your responses and I'll do a follow-up video for you. So please send me an email, carolyn at thebiztruth.com, put yeah but in the subject line and explain what yeah buts you hear from your prospects. So kick the butts entrepreneur, kick the butts.